Okay. The scripture readings today are from Proverbs, Philippians, and Isaiah. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understandings. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understandings, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strengths. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. The word of God for the people of God. Shouldn't have done that. We begin today by considering what it means to wholeheartedly trust in God. When we talk about healing, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, we must start with trust. Healing requires that we place our faith, not in our own abilities or the world's solutions, but in the God who knows us, loves us, and has the power to heal us in ways that far exceed our understanding. Proverbs gives us this wonderful, powerful reminder. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. This verse calls to us something radical, not a partial trust, not, but a wholehearted trust. We are called to trust God with everything, with our fears, our doubts, our pain, our questions. When we trust him completely, we acknowledge that God's understanding is far greater than our own. This trust is foundational for receiving the healing that God desires to bring into our lives. Gratitude and trust go hand in hand. When we practice gratitude, we're expressing our trust in God's goodness, even when we don't see the full picture. In moments of suffering or need, gratitude becomes a powerful declaration of trust. Lord, I thank you because I know you are good, and I trust that you are working all things together for my good. In Philippians, we are reminded that when we offer our prayers and petitions with thanksgiving, God's peace guards our hearts and minds. Gratitude is an act of trust because it acknowledges that God is already present and at work, even before we see the results. So when we give thanks, we are saying, I trust that you are the healer, I trust that you are guiding me. I trust that your plan is greater than my own. The practice of stillness is another profound expression of trust. In a world that values busyness, control, and immediate results, it can be difficult to sit quietly and wait on the Lord. Yet stillness is an act of surrender, a way of saying, God, I trust that you are working even in the silence. Psalms 46 teaches us, be still and know that I am God. Stillness is when we acknowledge that God is sovereign, that he knows exactly what we need and that his timing is perfect. In Isaiah 40, we are promised that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Waiting is not passive, it is an active expression of trust. When we take time to be still, to listen, and to wait for that still small voice, we are demonstrating our faith 
that God's plan is unfolding, even when we don't see immediate evidence. Incorporating stillness into our prayer life is a way of trusting that healing doesn't always happen in an instant. It may take time, but God is faithful and he will work in ways that lead us towards wholeness. When we live in obedience to God's law, we are showing our trust in his divine wisdom and design. The Ten Commandments are not arbitrary rules. They are a framework for living in alignment with God's order. Following these commandments is an act of trust that God knows what is best for us. Consider the first commandment. You shall have no other gods before me. This is a call to trust God completely. When we place other gods, whether they are false beliefs, fears, or worldly solutions above God, we are not fully trusting him. But when we commit to having no other gods, we affirm that God alone is the source of our strength, our healing, and our hope. Living by God's law requires us to let go of our own understanding and trust that God's way leads us to true health, happiness, and peace. So what does it mean to wholeheartedly trust in God? It means trusting Him with every part of our lives, not just the parts we feel comfortable surrendering, but also the parts where we struggle to let go of. Proverbs 3 calls us to trust in the Lord with all our heart and not to lean on our own understanding. When we lean on our own understanding, we limit what God can do in our lives because we are trying to control the outcome. But when we trust God with everything, we open ourselves up to the miraculous. Let me share with you a thought that clarifies this. Who would stand before a blackboard and pray the principle of mathematics to solve a problem? Just as we wouldn't pray to mathematical principles to fix an equation, but would apply those principles, we must apply our trust in God. Healing doesn't happen by merely asking. It happens when we live in accordance with spiritual truths and principles. We don't passively ask for healing. We actively live in gratitude, stillness, obedience, and trust. In doing so, we are aligning ourselves with God's law, which brings about the healing we seek. I know there are many of you here today who are in the midst of uncertainty. Perhaps you are facing a difficult health diagnosis, a financial struggle, or a broken relationship. And I know it can be hard to trust when the future feels uncertain. But remember this, God is with you in the uncertainty. He is working in ways that you may not yet see. In Romans 8, we are given the promise that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Even in the midst of trials, God is at work, bringing about good. Trusting him means believing this promise with your whole heart, that even when the way seems unclear, God is leading you toward healing, restoration, and peace. So today, I invite you to place your trust fully in God's hands. Trust Him with your healing. Trust Him with your challenges. Trust Him with your future. When we trust God with all our hearts, we realize the burden of trying to figure out everything on our own. We open the door for God's power to work in and through us. Let us remember these key points. Gratitude 
is an expression of trust in God's goodness. Stillness is an act of God's is an act of trust in God's timing. Obedience to God's law is an expression of trust in his design for our lives. Wholehearted trust opens the path to healing. Let us close with this prayer. Heavenly Father, today we choose to trust you with all our hearts. We surrender our fears, our doubts, and our need for control. Help us to live in gratitude, to be still in your presence, to follow your commandments, and to trust you completely with every part of our lives. We believe that you are working for our good, and we thank you for the healing that is already taking place. In Jesus' name, amen.